Hello friends, my name is Alok Kumar, an educator at an academy. So friends, if you think that if you have an idea that you can transform into reality, then please follow me on an academy learning app where you'll find my other courses around building online business, entrepreneurship and digital marketing. Please do not forget to rate, review and share my courses and please subscribe to our YouTube channel. This particular lesson is about how to write great website page content part two. So let's get started. Hello participants, you know, as I've already told you that in this particular lesson, I'm going to discuss the part two of writing great website page content. In my previous lesson, you understood different ways, different, uh, we discussed around different tips that how you can create great content. So let's get started. Keep at the mix of text and image. You know, don't make your website write up text heavy always use some attractive images that can actually work as a metaphor that work that can work as a metaphor to your paragraph or to your introduction or to your conclusion use images that can support your text you know it's there is a saying that a image can talk thousand words so never make your write up text heavy you know it's a, a it's a trend right now you know uh, you can use a uh, infographics and you can use uh, other titillating images that will actually engage your uh, reader you know a image on a website page always helps you in engaging your prospect very strongly you know write trust building words explain why your company is uniquely qualified to provide its products or services what is the unique sales proportion? Why are you different? Okay, you have to do a lot of research before writing a website page content. Talk to your marketing team, talk to your sales team, talk to your product team and come up with, come up with uh, several points that you think that will actually are your key differentiators that will help you to stand out of the competition. Provide some details about your company's history and achievements. Include a photo of your founder leaders on your home page. It will transfer credibility to the person who is reading your web page content, who has come to your website with a need. Dedicating a page to testimonials and case study again helps you to build trust in your market. Dedicate a separate section of case studies. So participants, if you think that what are case studies, then just stay tuned in my coming lesson. I am going to talk about what are case studies and how to write great converting case studies. Testimonials are nothing but customer, your existing customer reviews and feedback. When people, uh, when people are about to take a buying decision, they always prefer to, uh, know, uh, to go through a previous customer's uh, feedback and reviews. These third party endorsements hold weight. Customers buy from companies they actually trust. Now always remember, you know, in, in each and every page where you write about your product, where you write about your services, always remember that in each and every page, you should include a call to action. So participants, what are call to actions? Call to actions are, uh, are nothing but a powerful phrases or a button with a very powerful tagline that will actually inspire or compel the reader to immediately take action and click on the link, click on the button and share his or her details with you. Let's say, for example, you run a blog and you want people to subscribe to your blog then each and every blog should have a very strong very attractive you know a call to action so that people can get in touch with you and contact you now let me tell you something you know the purpose behind writing a website page content is to make your readers take an action so your write up should push your reader to contact you let them contact you very easily. 
they shouldn't actually ponder around you know uh, uh, let's say for example your write up is really interesting that they, they shouldn't waste their time in finding the button or the link to contact you always use you know, uh, you know the, the, the call to actions in different places on your write up on a single page ensure that it is clearly visible and it very clearly navigates the user to the right contact us form page the second option is about call to action okay your write up should include call to action like subscribe now download now let's connect call our uh, specialist you know these are some of the call to action statements that you can actually use to make your content more you know business friendly or make your content more converting now see at the end of the day whenever you write a 300 to 400 word content always ensure that your web page content when i'm talking about the content that you write for a single web page it shouldn't exceed you know it shouldn't exceed more than 300 words Generally, it's a practice and as per my experience, what I will also recommend that never exceed more than 300 words. So, you know, those 300 words should be very, very important, should have substantial call to action that will actually help somebody or inspire someone to actually take a decision. Right. So participants, I believe that all the points that you uh, that we discussed right now will help you to write great piece of website content in future. So if you are planning to be a content writer or if you are already a writer, then please, please put down your comments below my course. If you think that I have missed on something important that you would like to share with our other learners, then please comment below. We would love to hear your comments. So this is Alok Kumar signing out for now. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. Thanks a lot.